This is an introduction to the commercial negotiation class at National Zhongxin University in Taichung, Taiwan. Sang Ye Tan Pan, commercial negotiation or business negotiation is the class. And I'm going to give you an overview of the class and its grade structure. And you can choose if you want to take this class or not. So let's begin with how this class is set up and what its parts are. Now the information you're going to be able to connect from online, being able to get it off of the school system, and or from the uh, Google Docs, which I'll connect to. But here we can take a quick look, and you'll get an idea of what this class is all about. Now this class is, importantly, a lot online. So you can see here, I have lots of links to all the resources online. This is a key point of the class. I keep showing everything that you need online, all the connections, all of the links, so there's no mystery about that. This is an example of some of the online interfaces we'll be looking at, and I'm not going to go into detail now, but you can see they're pretty useful, pretty easy to use, pretty user-friendly. And that is to say that, you know, you point and click and do the re all the things you regularly do. There's nothing very unusual about this class that way. And this is a look at some of the interfaces we'd be using online during our RPG game section, where we actually play a simulation RPG. And here is a little bit of the grading breakdown, how we begin to do some evaluation. And then here is a bit of our online writing assignment area. Let me go into detail now uh, about the main parts of this class and how they're going to work. And I just want to emphasize that almost all of the class is online, meaning you're going to stay home and do work from online into the classroom. My lectures are all video recorded, so you watch them yourself. And everything else we do is online, including our RPG simulations. Now, you can get together with other people in the class or with group members when we do our RPG simulations. But you can then be at home or somewhere else when you're together. You don't need to come for everyone together. So that's really convenient for you. Now, let's look at how this grade is set up grade-wise. Because I know for students, this is really their number one question they always have is, what are we going to do in this class? What's, what are we going to do and how are the grades determined? Okay, well, fundamentally this class has three parts. One part, of course, is the English part. Now, that may sound a bit boring. I don't need to take another English class. And yes, I know what you're saying. What I mean by English is the class is 100% in English, so I encourage all of our international students to take this class. You do not have to be a business major to take this class. Everyone can benefit from learning about negotiation. And our Taiwan students also, of course, can le benefit from learning about negotiation. And we're going to be doing it in English. So if you're an international student, you say, well, my English is already pretty good. Then what are we going to do? We're going to say, well, it can always get a little bit better, can it? And you can always learn the vocabulary for negotiation, which is what we're focusing on. So it's not like a general English class. For our Taiwan students, of course, you can always get your English better, can't you? By trying to pick up on your English ability, especially your English vocabulary, when it's related to things like negotiation. So I would be really positive about that. I think it's a great idea. It's not an English basic class, but rather it's to get you over the top on the special vocabulary you need for negotiation. Okay, so that's one part. Of course, negotiation is another part. Negotiation meaning we're going to learn about the skills of negotiation. What is negotiation about? What are the uh, aspects of negotiation? What are the strategies and tactics that you need in negotiation? Now, you may think that sounds awfully boring. And in lots of negotiation classes, it is a big, thick book about theory. That's not what we're doing in this class. This class is focused on learning by doing. Each chapter will cover one point about negotiation and then have good examples of how that works in business, how that works in your life. And then when we have our simulation, we, we can implement those and use those right away. So it's not a lot of theory. And in fact, there's no midterm exam. There's no final exam. So nothing like that. So let's jump back to what I think is the third part of this class, and that is learning how to 
use cloud-based technologies in a business kind of approach. Now, of course, you use Facebook and you use Line and you use a lot of things online, I'm sure you do, but how many of your classes are completely doing all of their things online? And have you learned how to get up to speed on the things that are being used normally in business today, such as documents online, spreadsheets online, writing on, online? So we're gonna do all, all these things online. Now the class is not here to train you, rather it's to get you up to speed and then we just do it. And so that way, when you do graduate and you go out to work, you know, you're gonna know all of this stuff and be comfortable with it. So I know you're probably good at using something like FB, but are you good at using Google Docs? Do you understand how to upload documents? Do you understand how to do like writing online? Maybe not, and this class will help you get more comfortable with that. Okay, so those are the three emphasis, emphasis, emphasis of this class. There's like three areas I'm going to focus on. Okay, now how do we actually implement that grade-wise? I think that's what everybody always wants to know. How am I going to get a grade in this class? Well, first of all, there is, as I just said, no midterm exams, no final exams. So that's going to save you a lot of trouble right there. But what we do have are quizzes. Now, I don't want to scare you away and you say, oh, no, quizzes. These quizzes are online. They can take up to four to six days to complete. So after you read one chapter in the book, what you do then is you go ahead and at your leisure, when you want to, you have four days, sometimes five days, sometimes six days, sometimes seven days to complete that assignment. And all you need to do is log into the online portal and then you'll just do the online quiz. It's very straightforward. So it's open book. You can have your book right with you. You can be talking to a classmate for all I care. There's really no way to cheat. I mean, the idea is you read the material and you can answer some questions about it. So the goal is not to punish you, but rather just to keep you on schedule. So those quizzes, that should be pretty easy stuff. You should be getting 100 on that easy, no problem. All you do is read, take the quiz. Now included in that is what I call class participation. Now class participation means that when we do have class, which is not going to be very often, on campus, you show up. Now, if you can't show up for those few times we have class, then that'll count against you. So quizzes and class participation together is one-third of the grade, 30% of the grade right there. Again, let me just say, most people would be getting 100% on that. Pretty easy stuff. If you didn't read any of the material, you forget about the quizzes, you don't come to class when we have a class, then you wouldn't be doing well. But who, who's that? It's not many. This is pretty easy stuff. The goal is make it easy, just stay on schedule. The next part that's going to have a grade are writing assignments. And what we're going to do is quick business letters in a cloud writing format. And that's going to be 30% of your grade. Now this again is meant to help you. That is to say that in this class we have writing assignments. Now why writing assignments? Well, it's very simple. Most negotiation is taking place over email, is taking place over business letters through the internet, not through talking. Usually when you get to the talking stage, it's already a final stage. So this negotiation is important. How do you do that? You need to write sentences. What do you do with those sentences? You need to use business vocabulary. Where does that business vocabulary come from? Well, that's what this program is to teach you. It's to help you get your business vocabulary to implement what we learned in the book and to practice it. Again, learning by doing. So this part is completely individual, just like the quiz is. So 30% of your grade is based on the quiz and 30% on the writing assignments, you see? So that's 60% right there, totally individual work. So this class, I think, has a good mix. 30%, 30%, 60% total is dependent just on what you do. You don't need to worry about groups or getting involved with complexities or all of that. So I think that's very fair. Now we do have the remaining 40%, which is going to be the groups. So this is group work. Now you can make the groups you want. I don't get, get involved with groups and organizations. But these groups are going to be like little make-believe companies simulated companies, or what we call a role-playing game, RPG. Now, 
we're not going to play this just once or twice. For about half of the semester, we're going to keep doing it over and over again. And you don't need to come to the classroom. You don't need to go anywhere special. It's all online and for multiple days. So we have a beginning time where you have a company with some goals and some financial situations and you need to figure out how are you going to sell your product at a certain quality, at a certain quantity, for a certain price to other buyers or how are you going to buy from other sellers in the classroom. Now they won't be in the classroom, it's going to be any way you want to do it. You want to call other people on the phone, you want to use Facebook, you want to use chat, you want to use Skype, you can use any way you want. You could meet them face to face if you want. And there will be multiple days. It could be four days, five days, six days, depending on the assignment. And during that time, you'll be doing this simulation. So that's 40% of the grade there. So this is a quick kind of wrap up of how this class works very quickly. 30% on open book quiz, which is done online. 30% for writing assignments, and again, it's not wide open, write it whatever you want, it's very clear. It's gonna be like writing an offer letter for product A. A very, very clear kind of assignment. And I'm gonna give you feedback, I'm gonna help you with your errors, and because we can do it in the cloud, I can give each student feedback. If your English is already good, that's great. I can help you make it better. If your English is more basic, okay, my goal is to help you get that level up a little bit, and to give you confidence about learning negotiation and then using it, executing it in a writing context. So we're going to be doing that. And then lastly, 40% on the role playing games. All right, so the final question to really answer is, what about this role playing game, Professor Warden? 40%, that's a lot of my grade. I understand quizzes. I understand writing assignments. Uh, open book quizzes, I got confidence I can do it. Uh, writing assignments, I could give it a try and I can get better, I understand that. What about the 60% of negotiation simulations, this RPG game? How does this work? How do I get a grade for this? Well, let me try to explain that a little bit. And you might be interested to know how it works. But let me begin by saying it's not my goal to punish anyone. In my classes, the goal is to help you learn more and to see you try. So learning by doing means you try. Now the way this works is we have different groups. Let's say every group has five people in it, would be maximum I think, three to five people in a group, and they form a kind of company. Some companies will be buyers and some will be sellers. It's completely randomly decided, so random. So one week you could be a seller, the next week you're a buyer. And the variables involved include price, quantity, quality, shipping speed, and those are the basic variables. And then we have different products and some features a little bit. So it can get quite complicated, can it? These few things, you know, three times three times three times four, something like this, there's a lot of possibilities. And I think business students would be familiar with that. They know that that's true, that's very normal in business. And in this case, you go ahead and you negotiate by this online game we have. I have a couple screenshots here we can look at real fast for this. So you see this page here looks like dice, right? So you have number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's called dice or die. And what you do is your group comes in at the beginning of the game, you push a button, and you get a random selection for your company's negotiating position. So that is to say, your position begins with a random kind of start. So you may have a very good price at your company, and your company may be able to make a very good quality. So you can, you can produce at a low price, and you can produce a high quality. A another time you play, your company may not be able to produce high quality. It may, may only be able to produce a kind of medium quality. And if that's true, then you have to negotiate from that position. As a buyer, you may be required to buy high quality, or you may be okay to buy low quality, but if you got high quality, that's an even better situation, more payoff for you for the same price. You would win more points. So that's kind of the way it looks, and it's quite easy when we play because everything's done online, and you can see here, for example, these are called the deal report. You actually go online, and you just fill out a deal report. What group are you negotiating with? Uh, how many units did you buy? What quality and quantity? What is your shipping time, etc.? All of these things get put in and you push the button, submit. 
Maybe you make a deal that you regret making. We have a cancel form where you could actually go in and cancel the deal you made up until the day of the last moment of the assignment. When the assignment's over, of course, you can't cancel things then. So it's very much like a real world situation. And we have IDs and passwords so groups cannot cheat and try to fill out information for other groups. And then we have these forms where all of the information goes into the form. And here you can see my instructions step by step teaching you how the forms work. And here's an example of some information. What's the delivery? What's the production? What groups did you make a deal with? And then how did those deals turn out? How did they collect for you? And then we have a scoring system. And everything is very open. So you can see here. What was the price and what was the resistance price and then how many did you buy, how many units, and etc. And it comes out to be a number. So what happens at the very end of a single RPG, and we're going to play many RPGs, maybe five or six role-playing games, different negotiations for different products. What happens at the end of this is you get a score. So each game you'll get a score and those scores all go together. Now sometimes your group may start out with a lucky position and negotiation is, you know, not that hard for you to get a good score. Another time you may start out with a not a good position, it's much tougher to get a good score. So it's very fair that way. My experience is groups that work hard really do better. Those that follow the input from the book, the different tactics and strategies and ideas and planning for negotiation really do better. Those who don't do anything do worse. And in the end, the scores come together and that will be part of your final grade or that will make up the 40% we're talking about. So remember, 30, 30, 40. So that 40 will be your group grade for the negotiation. Now it's possible that many groups could do very well. Many groups could be getting a high score and they're very close to each other. My experience is that there's one or two groups that work hard and they really do get higher scores. There are some groups that work okay and they get in the middle. And there's some groups they, they never meet, they never talk, they never plan. They don't follow anything, any kind of ideas that are in the book and they just make up the negotiation or sometimes they just give up or they just check in and say, yeah, whatever. Or they don't even negotiate, which is an option if you're a company. You don't have to buy and sell. So they don't do well. So that's my experience and of course they're not going to do that well. That's how your grade is formed. Now, you may say, you know, that sounds interesting. And uh, group work is very normal. And in this class, it's not the whole grade. It's just going to be that 40%. And I get that. I understand that, Professor Warden. But I'm worried because sometimes I work with groups. And you know what happens? The groups have somebody who's really lazy, who doesn't want to work together with us. Well, we do have a way to address that issue. And I can show you that here on the screen. So we have a grading form. Let me see, it's right down here. And this grading form is a kind of evaluation sheet. Now maybe you've seen an evaluation sheet before where you have to evaluate another group and you have to give a grade to another group. That's not what we do in this class. You are only responsible for your group's work. You do not give a grade to another group. You do not evaluate others. However, what you can do and must do is every week that we have a simulation, you will evaluate the people in your group. And when I say evaluate, I'm very straightforward and simple. It, it's a very easy. If I have three people in my group and all three people help equally, I'm going to give each one 100. That means each person did 100% of his work responsibility in this group. If I told him, take it easy, don't do much, then I can give him 100 because that's what I told him to do and that's what we thought he was going to do. That's okay. But if you have someone in your group who you really feel is not contributing, you give them a lower grade. And that means kind of percentage of work, 0 to 100. And it affects their grade directly. So for example, let's say we have an RPG game and we have finished the game and our group gets a score of 80. And inside of our group, we have three people, and I give my other group mate 100. I get 100, but one person didn't come to meetings, didn't help much. We give him together a 50. We agree to give him a 50. And our whole group agrees on this. This grading sheet here that you see is 
one sheet for one group. It is not each person grades each person. That's too complicated. This is very straightforward. We have three people in our group. We all know one person is lazy, never comes. We give them 50. Our score for the RPG was 80. So that means I get 80, you get 80, but the person who did not participate, what's he gonna get? He's gonna get half of 80 because we gave him a 50, 50%. 50 so he's gonna get 40. So that's really severe punishment. And I think that's a very good point in this class. The group work is straightforward. The group work is very simple. You do the work, you work with your group, you're gonna get your group grade. Now hopefully your group can work together and be successful so everybody gets a higher grade. But if there's somebody in your group not helping, you just cut them out and you give them an evaluation sheet like this and say, hey, let's be honest, you're not helping, we're gonna give you 50 or we're gonna give you a zero. Okay, so to sum up, this class has three areas of emphasis to help your skill. Of course, English, because it's all in English, specifically business English, specifically negotiation English. Even if your English is already good, of course, it can't hurt to learn more of these negotiation vocabulary. It always helps. That's going to be great. If your English is not that good, don't worry. We're starting at this level to help boost you up. And everything's online so we can help each individual more rather than just lecturing in a boring classroom. Isn't that exciting? Okay. The second part is, of course, negotiation. We're going to learn different ideas of what is negotiation, how does it function, what are some of the theories about it, but not like deep theories. No, very practical, learning by doing. How do we execute it? How do you do it? What are the different positions you can take? Very, very practical. And then, of course, number three is you're going to be using cloud technology, which is so normal in today's workplace. We're going to be using it in our class like it's normal. So we're going to be accessing documents, filling out forms, and all of our activity, watching videos, all of our activity is going to be online. So the number of classes we have, we might be meeting very few times, maybe three times, four times, depending on how much you need some help, because I'm going to get you up to speed. We're going to practice in class a little bit how to access some documents, make sure everyone can use the web correctly, and then everything else is online. You watch the video lectures online when you want to, you take the quizzes when you want to online, and we do the RPGs online, and you have multiple days to do these things, not one day. So that's our commercial negotiation class, Sungye Tun Pan at Jungsin University, National Jungsin University, and it will be open in the fall semester. Hope to see you there, and the more people the better, because we get more people, we have more groups, and classroom size is not a problem because we're not going to be in the classroom. Thank you very much.